lovely mums, how are you today? Really great, I hope, and getting on in business. I wanted to chat with you about something we really should all consider at the start of our business journey, and that is, should you actually be starting a business? Now, I know it's not exactly what you want to hear when it's such an exciting prospect. You know, we're starting out with stars in our eyes and we're really certain that we're on a winner. However, I know of many mums who start a business as the flexibility allows them to be there for their kids. And before too long, they're actually working 24 seven on the business and they're not there for the kids anyway, or they're stressed and exhausted trying to manage it all. So here's why I think it's necessary to think before jumping in. Number one, running a business is really, really, really hard work. Yes, it may be flexible and you can pick your kids up after school and look after them when you want, but you will be working late into the night or early into the morning or on weekends or all of the above. You'll need to be everything to your business. You'll have to be the marketing girl, the SEO expert, the accountant, the bookkeeper, running a business, it's actually the exact opposite of working in a job where you have your area of expertise and others around you fulfill theirs. So are you ready to be everything to your business? Do you have the confidence and the skills or can you learn? Number three is uh, you will be on your own a lot. Unless you have a business partner or manage to start out with staff, you're going to be isolated, you won't be getting feedback, you won't have the social atmosphere of a workplace, which is something that I know that I really missed a lot. Number four, you will most likely not earn any money for a few years to come at a minimum or if ever. And you do have to be aware that after a few years of business, many small businesses actually cease operation. So are you willing to take the risk? I know for myself that even eight years in now, I'm still reinvesting in the business. My hard earned money that I would love to put into my personal account is still being spent on new websites, rebranding and purchasing CRMs. And number five, your partner may not understand what it takes to run a business and may not be that supportive. Many mums report that when first starting out in business, their partners often ask when they're going to be making money quite a lot. And it can be quite stressful when you're trying to build something that won't be profitable for a while. And you've got your husband on the other hand asking you continually where the money is. So how do you ensure running a business is right for you? Well, I would say there are a few things that you can do. Number one, Look at your priorities for your life and work and work out what you're trying to create for yourself. If it's to make money, then starting a business is definitely not the way to go. The majority of people who start out thinking they have a great idea and it's gonna take off, they really end up being very disappointed. It's really very rarely that businesses or ideas take off like you think they will. If you want flexibility for your family, but you understand that it's going to be hard graft, then you could be in a better place for starting a business. Number two, following on from point one, make sure that you are in a position where you are financially secure and there is no pressure to start earning immediately or even for a year or two. Point three is think about the type of person you are and what your strengths and weaknesses are. Are you the type of person who can learn quickly, who can turn your hand to different jobs and pick things up well? Are you a social person? Do you really need interaction? Are you self-motivated? Are you organized? Think about Um, who you will need to be as a business owner and if you can actually be this person. Number four, chat with your partner and outline what it means to be a business owner and, and make sure they're on board and that they really understand it as supportive. Tell them what you will need from them and make sure they can provide this. Also chat with your kids as well. If they're old enough, you know, working from home will mean that you'll be on the computer or phone sometimes and they'll have to be quiet or they'll have to leave you be and you need to make sure your kids understand this as well. And most of all, remember that no job is perfect. There will always be pros and cons. Yes, taking on a part-time job or a full-time job may mean you can't always be there for your kids, but running a business has its own challenges and demands as well, like you're not always gonna have the money coming in. So hopefully this video will go some way to ensuring you can make the best decision for you. And until later, have a great day. Thank you, bye. Is that too light? so much easier when I do it at home because I can just mess up and screw around with it. And then just go... Damn it! <laughs> Thanks for listening to me. If you think that you would love to know when my next video comes out, you can. Just subscribe um, here or here or here or down there or somewhere around here. You'll see the subscribe button. Hope to see you again. Bye!
Thanks for listening to me. If you think that you would love to know when my next video comes out, you can. Just subscribe um, here or here or here or down there or somewhere around here. You'll see the subscribe button. Hope to see you again. Bye.